All right, we're going to play some Risk again. I just uh I just disastrously lost <laughs> I an auto match. Like I didn't even get to trade before I was taken out. I got dumped back into intermediate um which is a little bit expected when you are beat essentially by three people who are lower or higher lower ranked than you. Um so let's try again. Um, as I had explained, ooh, I got automatic straight away. I'm red. I have to remember that. Um, I don't care a, a ton about my ranking. I don't care a ton about winning. Obviously, I do try to win. I like to win. Um, but I, I play the cards I'm dealt, basically. And on that last game, I was played a very bad hand. I'm going first which I don't love going first um, because it doesn't give me a lot to understand what other people want to do. White is definitely going to want Africa. Pink wants Australia. They asked me to uh, ally with them right away. I am in a really bad spot. Black has a good... South America play, and I don't have a place where I can easily take a card. Um, so this is another not great start. Um, I guess I'll just go here, and I'll see. I'll see what happens. Um, not holding my breath on this one. Let's see if I can start to consolidate a little bit. Uh, got a, a wild right off the uh, rip, so that's always good. Having early trades is good in the early game for fixed games. Um, the turn order here is also really interesting. So pink is kind of telling black, hey, like, get out of here. And they probably sent black a friend request to an alliance request they also did not take a card which is interesting and it's because like me they didn't have a good place to take a card okay so black came in let's see if they fortify to let me out they do okay so let's see who we're dealing with here we have billy with a risk icon. I'm not sure what that means. 266 hours played. Um, really good win-loss record. This is me. 234 hours played. I'm not sure what this auto match is. This is new. It's not showing anything. So I'm, I'm not sure what that is yet. Um, white took Africa. And they have a strong hold on Africa, a really strong hold. Um, I'm stuck in here unless I break white, which really makes them mad. Pink wants me to attack black. Um, I'm not going to invest more troops here. I'm thinking black might want to go North America is my hope. So I'm just going to hang out there with my seven for a, a bit. And then I need to start trying to consolidate my troops a little bit here. Oh, this is another tough one. Um, pink is going to start getting really mad at black because black is not moving this five out. They got a card this time, though. I'll be interested to see what black does. I mean, they can take my seven... I would not recommend that they do that. Okay, so now they're moving out. 
of Australia. Pink is going to be able to take Australia this next turn. Um, black, I think, does want... Yeah, they definitely want this. But I have to break white in order to get my seven out. And I think black knows that. So you have to decide, do you lose your seven... Or do you make somebody mad by breaking their continent? And so um, I think I'm just going to abandon this seven, basically. Because then if black wants this continent, they have to spend Go. out on, on a seven. So I'm not going to make it easy for them to take that continent. And then I'm definitely not busting out of a five now. Like, so... This seven, I think, is just gone unless black decides that they no longer want this. So this is another one where I don't have a good place to go. So I will, again, just keep working to kind of consolidate myself. And I'm going to move this five because maybe black wants to come down here and kind of contest Australia a little bit. Um, you want to encourage people to fight. And so that's what black is doing to me. He's encouraging me to fight white. Now I'm encouraging black to fight pink. But pink is going to have a pretty strong hold on this. Oh, they should have fortified that five over. Because then, like, nobody is busting through, a, you know, a 12. Um, I have a trade on on cannons, which is 8 with a plus 2 on Scandinavia. I, I might hold off just a bit. Okay, so is black deciding to take North America now? I don't know what Black wants to do. I think that they are frustrated with me. Okay, there we go. There we go. I am still... I'm not going to take this, though, because this 15 can just come in and sweep me up, you know? So I'm not... I'm just going to leave this 7 um, until I figure out what people want to do a little bit more. This is another game where I'm kind of in rough shape a little bit. White and pink are going to be getting very, very strong. Um, I don't think I'm in danger yet of dying, so I, I'm not going to trade. I'm not going to trade yet. I'll maybe start working towards Europe. And if not, I need to try to start making like a really big army. Um, that's called a no continent game. Um, again, watching Mr. Slynn's videos really were invaluable to me in understanding what your options are. And sometimes a no continent game is really, really your best option. There um, might not be much you can do if people are not clearing out. So like if I want Europe, like white needs to get out of Europe. Um, I just lost that seven. He barely lost anything taking that seven out. So this is where I need to start getting my armies all in one big army so that I am not in danger of dying. Um, that was how I lost my last game was that all of my little armies were just getting absolutely brutalized by another player. And I ended up getting taken out by like turn four. Um, so you need to make yourself a really, really big army. Um, so that the players are not strong enough to take you out. Um, 
Black is also doing a loo like a, a threat guard, so he's not actively guarding this border with white. If white wants to come in and break him, he can. It's really a smart play. Um, I'm also concerned because black is starting to get a lot of territory up in North America. Okay, so I have got to trade in. I am dead if I don't. That was a big trade. Um, and I am going to consolidate. I'm going to take out black's three because I'm just mad at black now. Like, F black, right? Like that guy. And now I'm going to be consolidating everything. So I'm definitely not in danger now of getting taken out. And I've really weakened Black. Um, his, his armies are trapped, so he can't do anything major because he's got a trapped army. He already traded in. Um, White is not going to let me have Europe, I don't think. Um, I still think that I need to play No Continent a little bit. And then with No Continents, the name of the game on that is really stay out of trouble. Um, you want to hopefully get some wars going between the people who are the strongest, the people with continents, and make yourself just a tiny, tiny little ball of a lot of troops and just kind of stay out of the way. Um, that's how you do a No Continent strategy. White is really in a very good position. They got their continent very, very early. Um, they have a very strong hold on their continent. Um, and they've got the seven over here. White is off to a very early lead. He is already double the size of black. And nobody is busting into this continent. I mean, just absolutely nobody is busting into this continent. White played this very, very smart. So now I'm starting to get my big army. I've only got um, one more move to get these combined, and then this will be an army of over 30 no one will be able to do anything about an, a, a single army of 30. And then when you're the no continent player, sometimes it can behoove you to kind of nudge the other players to kind of do something. Um, so for example, my big army might scare white enough into kind of retreating into their continent because I could just come right in and plow through and, and just completely destroy their game. Um, and, and you do run that risk when you start to irritate the other players in such a way that is leaving them very little options. So if I've got a huge army of over 30 and you're not giving me a continent, um, they call that suiciding into someone where I'll just plow into you, ruin your game because you ruined mine. So that's something you need to think about. Um, black is also starting to take a lot of territory up here in North America. Um, white is over the 12 threshold, so they're going to be getting an extra troop each game unless somebody does something about one of their extra territories. Um, two versus one is not, is not great. They've still got this five over here. Okay, good. He's starting to move out. Do I have another trade? I have cannons. White is starting to build up and looks like, yeah, I would love an alliance. Can you get the F out of of Europe please like please leave get this eight out of here so you can sometimes kind of signal like hey get this eight out of here to be like oh 
I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> I did not mean to do that. That was a misclick. Oh no. Well, that was one way to do it. I was trying to just kind of threaten him, but then... Oh boy. That was, um... I think that was a mistake. He's going to come right up here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was an accident. There was a button that said, um, sorry, misclick. And I wish I had that. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry, White. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't hate me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, this is probably why I am not, in fact, a grandmaster. Like, stuff like that where I just made such a stupid mistake. <laughs> Um, and now White is going to be super duper mad. I am also, uh, in a really bad spot. I've got four cards. They're all cannons. If I make it to see another turn, I have to trade in. But, like, White could just swallow me up right now and get my four cards. And, honestly, I think they should. <laughs> I think if they don't do that, that's maybe a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, good game. <laughs> good game. Goodbye, good game. Well played. I'm, I'm, oh no, they're not going to have enough to swallow me up. So, what White just did here, I'm not sure that was the right way to go. Oh wait, no, they're, they're going to have enough. They're going to have enough because they've got that 12. But White just ruined their own game by killing me. Because now Black and Pink are a lot stronger than them. Oh man, that was a, a horrible mistake. Um, so Black and Pink are now much bigger than White. White did have cards though. And now white has a ton of territory, a ton of continents. So black and pink are absolutely going to be gunning for white now at this point. So I think white might have made a mistake here. And now they're also preventing black from taking these territories. So if they hadn't done that, Maybe white and black could team up and start to trap pink, and they'd be outproducing pink by just like a ton. Um, this is an, an interesting one. I think I want to watch this one for just a bit to see what happens. Is no one going to break white? That's also really interesting. If they just let white hold all these territories... All these continents. Black can't do anything because his 38 is trapped. Pink could have done it and chose not to. So, and black is keeping his territory. Oh my gosh. Okay, so white just got 14. And they have five cards. So white just now became truly like the strongest player on the board. Black and pink need to break white by next turn. They cannot let white hold both of these continents. They just can't. Is white going to open up black? No. So... Opening up means if they had attacked right here, now Black's 43 is free to come out. So Black kept his 43. He should have moved his 43 here. Um, because now Black has to rely completely on pink to break white. Black cannot break white no matter what direction he goes. This 15 is too strong. This 17 is too strong. And his 43 is locked up. So black has to essentially hope that pink breaks white, but pink doesn't want to do that because now they are making an enemy of somebody who's very, very strong. And, and pink is 
in the lead and but also has a very low producing continent basically um i do believe that pink and white here have an alliance Black has to do something or he's going to be completely trapped down here. He has to move that 43 out or he's going to get completely trapped. Nope, that was not a good play. He is really hoping that pink and white start to war with each other. But it doesn't seem like they're, they're wanting to do that. And now black is the smallest one on the board. I can't believe that this is working out for white. He is so lucky. Um, pink and black did not team up right away. I think they missed the boat on doing that. And they're going to card block him, I think. Hmm. Yeah, pink is going to try and card block him, which is also really interesting. So white is much, much, much stronger than pink. But it seems like pink is doing white's bidding a little bit. So it's almost like pink is playing for second, which is absolutely a strategy, right? Like playing for second is absolutely a strategy. when you feel like there's no hope that you can possibly win. So that's kind of what it seems like pink is doing right now. And pink is going to have to move that 9 and 10. Or he, they're losing them. Like black is absolutely going to bust through. So yeah, um, pink is like, you know what? It's not worth it. Ooh, they're attacking white now. Oh. Did pink realize that white was kind of setting them up a little bit? All you're doing is pissing off white white does not need that like what was it like an eight or a seven he doesn't need that pink needs to come in and 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 bust him like he black and pink need to start working together or this game is over for both of them there you go so you're gonna bust both continents yep so if you're black this is exactly exactly what you're hoping for right now you're hoping that white and pink are furious with one another if I'm black I take a card and then I split my armies and I start to guard and I start to guard my my continent that's what I do So now black is just hoping to stay out of trouble. And he knows that white is going to have to fix their continents. If you're white, you, I think, need to decide, are you going to continue to try to guard both of those huge continents? Or are you going to focus on one? And it looks like he's going to try to guard both. Yeah, he's going to try and keep guarding both. 
pink has a lot of territory now. I think black is still in the worst position, but if he stays quiet and and just kind of hides out down there, that can that's also a really 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 good strategy is just doing your absolute best to stay out of trouble, stay small, stay quiet, and then hope that the two other stronger players um you know try something and start to go to war because if they start to go to war then maybe you have an opening where all of a sudden you were in third place and now you're in first place because the other two have hit each other so much he was able to trade now if i'm him i just no card it this time yeah that was stupid he what he should have done is just zero carded then he would have had a nice big army nobody can take him out and now white and pink are fighting that's what i would have done if i were black Okay, sorry, I just had to run to the bathroom real quick. All right, so white is getting just ridiculously strong. Pink is not doing anything about it and now can't because they've locked their army. I think that black is, is finally going to bust through. And this is, a, this is really a situation where somebody has to do something or... In two to four turns, depending on cards, white will be bigger than both of them and, and will just win the game. Um, so this is actually a point in games where if I'm pink or black, I'm, I'm like really, really frustrated if the other person is not working with me, to be honest. Um, because you just have a player who's like running away with the game. And if no one's going to do anything about that, like we're going to be sitting here forever one, which is not fun. Um, but also like, I just can't believe that there are players who will just be like, no, just keep getting, you know, 10,000 <laughs> troops each turn that this is fine. Um, so I do think that black is finally going to do something about this. And white is big, but they're really spread out. And so black has this huge army. And they now they've split. I don't know if splitting was a good idea. Um, they are in too rough a shape, you know, at this point in the game, somebody taking out a 17, like, white could take out a 17 without even, like, blinking. So, I'm not sure if I'm black if I would have done this. I probably would have broken white again and then just parked my 60 troop army up here. Because then, like, what is white going to do about that? They could kill black, and then lose the game. 
Okay, I've seen Australia players do this tactic before where they start to just put a bunch of tiny troops and armies all over the board as like a deterrent of like if you are, you know, white or black, you'd rather take a one than take a four. I am not sure that this is the right strategy for them, though. I'm, I'm honestly not. It'll be interesting to see where that goes, but pink is only getting two for Australia, and but now they're starting to get a lot of territories. Yeah. Pink thought that was really funny. Pink is like, what? why aren't you going after this guy? This guy is the threat, right? But now black is kind of doing what pink was doing just a few turns ago, where now maybe black is playing for second. Um, and I always think it's a little bit funny when another person gets mad because you are doing the exact same strategy that they had just been doing like two turns ago. <laughs> So, you know, pink was not teaming up with black. <laughs> and now they're confused as to why black isn't teaming up with them. And it's like, well, oh, and pink just zero carded. That's interesting. I think that black really needs to break white now. Yep. Don't open up that 78. Okay, he did it. He did open up the 30, though. What is Black doing? That barely even injured weight. Ooh, is what going to take out Black right now? He's got five cards. Yes, he is. Okay, so we are in the end game now. And, and White is really, really smart because Pink's big army is completely, completely blocked. So in the end game, it is so important that your army is out and ready to go. Um, so there's like truly nothing pink is going to be able to do about this. Um, this was a very interesting game and we all made some huge mistakes. I mean, white just ran away with this game. I made that initial mistake of accidentally taking out their eight, um, by complete accident. It was a misclick. They took me out the very next turn. And then pink and black made the huge, huge mistake of letting white hold Europe and Africa for multiple turns. Um, there was just no coming back from that. I mean, white was getting 14, 15 troops every single turn. Ooh, they had a really good roll. Yeah, this game is over. Um, so yeah, this was kind of a masterclass in when you, when you see what the other players are going to let you get away with and white realized that pink and black were going to let him get away with holding both of those continents 
and he became he went from being the weakest player on the board right after he killed me to being the strongest player in like two turns and like strongest by a long shot um so there was like really no coming back from that pink and black needed to team up on white immediately after after um white killed me if pink and black had broken white immediately um they probably could have chipped away at white and had him done within two three turns and then been in an end game situation themselves um pink was a master so that was very interesting um white beginner and black intermediate that was a really good game that was a really good game even though i lost it that was a really good game <laughs>